Uh, my name is uh, Frederick Wangabo and uh, I work with the World Peasants Indigenous Organization. Our purpose, our mission is uh, to ensure that the rights of uh, indigenous minorities are protected and mainly we focus on the pygmies because they have got many problems. One of them is uh, slavery, exploitation and they are kind of ignored by states where they live. Uh, the Baja people are, peop are people who are either owned by individuals or people who are sold to individuals for exploitation. They are sometimes given to mining companies to work for them and they don't get any pay for this and any damage, be physical, be uh, psychological, they don't get reparations. They are just work in exploitation and their lives, the one who determines on their lives are the masters, the, their bosses, the people who own them, who control them. I've had members of my family who have uh, worked under exploitation as Baja and uh, who have been owned by people. So Your father, I think, was one of them. Uh, my, my father was one of them at certain given time. He was owned by people. Sometime in the past he was captured by Pierre Mulele, a former fight in the Democratic Republic of Congo. And uh, when he was being owned, uh, he was forced to do horrible things uh, that are uh, kind of torture, trauma, and up to now he's 84 but he's still traumatized and he doesn't like uh, remembering the things. And some of the things which happened to them sometime during that time, they were being eaten. People, the fighters were eating them. And he remembers his friend who was caught up by Pierre Mulele's fighters and he was eaten. And they asked him also to eat part of the meat of his friend, but he said, no, I can't do that. How can I eat a person? And up to to date, people have got that feeling like uh, pygmies are animals. They are not eco-human beings. And um, if you look today, these people are going under ex ex extinction and governments are not, uh, are not really, are not really paying any attention whatsoever. They are going human rights abuse, murder, torture, rape, sexual abuse. No one, no one at all is paying any attention to this. Sure, I, yes. Uh, companies, mining companies, especially in the Democratic Republic of Congo, in areas, in inaccessible areas, companies are owning pygmies. They are owning uh, other voiceless minorities. And when they own them, they decide on all they're going to be. If they don't want you to marry, you won't marry. If they don't want you to eat at a particular time, you won't do that. If they don't want you to drink water, they, you won't do that. If they want, they take women that they capture, and these women, they take them and, um, and trade them. If you've worked well, as a recompensation, you can have sex with uh, with uh, with uh, a given woman that they they propose you, and that that is how it is. The Ten so. for One Peace campaign is a campaign that uh, goes to people who have who is who are owning uh, slaves, who are owning badger people, and we talk to them. For example, if this week we target one person, ten people in the course of the week will go and talk to that person and convince them to release uh, the victims. And sometimes we look for ways of recompensation so that that person can try to live uh, and get a sustained life. But sometimes it's also, it's also hard. It's also hard. How many families would you say you have managed to free? Up to now, I would say we have managed to free up to 72 families, but individuals might be up to 200. Uh, it is very ironic. Uh, when I talk about the international community and the plight of uh, the pygmies, because at the international level, people might be talking about it, but they don't go into the detailed, the detailed problems. 
For example, they will say that uh, we are sending 10,000 to help uh, the pygmies. They would say that we are sending it to a certain government or to a certain organization. But the problems are not really focused on. They don't learn, they don't study where the problem started, how the problems are going, what should we do. Nothing is being put into practicality. And if we are to be true, we should look from history, we should look from the communities, we should look from other groups living with the pygmies, we should be realistic about their history, we should look into the forest, we should look how they sustain the forest, how they take the forest as a personal god, and from all this, we will know how to protect them, protect the environment which is the, the forest, because if you destroy the forest, you will never protect a pygmy, because pygmies are not really people without the forest. And if, if they, any pygmy will talk to you, will say that my God is the forest.